Hello, Wastelanders. It is I, Big Papa J. And I'm standing outside of Vault 114, fixing to go in and see if I can rescue or find Nick Valentine. You know, I've never really paid attention to what it says on these vaults. I always just go in. Staying 10 meters back. Lead to the losses of life, tampering may. See, I've never really paid any attention to all that. That's what I was talking about um, in my last episode. And I talk about all the time how that's why I don't like rushing through things because you miss so much. And I don't care if you are a veteran who's been playing since 2015. Uh, so have I. I've played Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout 3. New uh, New Vegas, I've played Fallout 4. I haven't played Fallout 76. That's the only one I haven't played, but I've played all the others. So I don't want to hear your BS about your veteran, and you don't want to see all that again. That's total baloney. Because I've been playing for a decade, and I still, to this day, find new stuff that I've never noticed in the past. And that's what makes the game exciting. This, that makes the game exciting is the fact that even after 10 years, I still to this day see stuff that I've missed because I'm in too big of a bloody hurry to get from point A to point B. I'm not monetized, guys. I'm on a little rant this morning, yeah. I'm not monetized. I'll probably never be monetized. Do I care? Hell no, I don't care. I don't play this for the money. I play this for relaxation, my escape. My, the matrix. <laughs> escape from reality. I play to relax after, after working all day. At the subway station. <clears throat> the opposite of airtight. And some of these other YouTubers who, are, like I said, you'll never hear me call out anybody in particular or in it. Yes. Just for the, um, the money or the mon monetization or the views or whatever. And they rush from point A to point B because they want to cover as much as they bloody possibly can. Skipping 90% of the game. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. I'll quit with my little rant for today. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna stay in hide mode. Boy, how many more of you guys are going to come out? Did the entire... Every single one of his members decide to come running out and try to bum rush me? There's still somebody in here. I still got a warning sign. Wow, I don't think I have ever in the history of me playing this game had that many come at me in this one locale i mean i've had them come at me before that's nothing new but in that many in this one locale like holy cow and i still have so that's a zombie i had bloody i got bloody zombies up in here Bad enough, I've got the trigger men to deal with, but I had zombies running around up in here too. And I hear, I hear a trigger man. There's a, there's a trigger man up in here. Where, where is he coming from? Where is he coming from?
must be from downstairs. He must have heard all the commotion. That's my guess is he must have heard all the commotion. Wow, that had an echo to it. That had that had a major echo to it. Okay, where did the body go? Where did the bloody go? Oh well. Come on out. I promise I'll only break one of you. Do you only break one of my legs? I don't think that's gonna happen, young man. I think you're delusional. He is delusional. Hey. Closing in on Mr. Valentine. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Oh. Uh, hey, you! <laughs> I was just curious if I could do it. I didn't know if I if I could sneak up on him and take him out. Get this door open. I was curious, and I did. I was able to do a Sandman kill, sneak up on him and get him. <laughs> I'm only playing under normal mode. I'm not playing under super hard or anything of that nature. So, under normal mode. Bobble uh, head. Bingo. Got it. I always pick up the hollow tapes. I don't know why, but I always do. The question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. I'm tracking a murderer. The bastard who shot my wife. Took my son. I don't even have a clue who he is or, or where he's gone. So you need a little angel of vengeance, huh? Well, I don't usually go after blood money, but I guess I can make an exception. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Lead the way, Mr. Nick. Lead the way. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Hustled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge the rent. And he was perfect high -down. Hold on, I hear some of them coming. His only Our job, job is to check on the prisoners. Why does that take so fucking long? Hey, Nick, you mind not getting in bloody in front of me? Don't want to accidentally shoot you, bud. Think so? Do you really honestly think so? That way? Okay. We can go that way, Nick. Nick's never gone this way. He always goes the other way. I guess I was kind of blocking the door, though. That makes sense. Doors on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. I agree, Nick. I perfectly agree with you. It 
making the heart shape. America lives on in you. I love America. See, I've never noticed that. And I guarantee you most of the other guys haven't neither. They ran right past it in their hurry to make a video. Ran right past it. I guarantee you. I've never noticed that. Him holding his hands in the shape of a heart. Red paint. Never noticed that before. Never noticed that before. Red paint. Does it matter? No, it's insignificance. But that's not the point. The point is there is so much tons of stuff to see and do. If you just slow down and smell the roses as they say. People are in such a big ass hurry that sometimes they forget to slow down and smell the roses. I don't care if they've been down the street a hundred times or a thousand times. It's like me. I've been working at the same job here because I'm a teacher here in Thailand. I've been, and I've been teaching at the same school for six years. I take the same route every day for six years. And to this day, I still see something new. It's like, wow, I've never noticed that before. Too many people are in too much of a hurry. They don't, they forget to stop and smell the roses. Somewhere. Nick's pretty tough, you know it? He's a pretty tough turkey. I'm here. Of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. Surface. <laughs> Giant rag roaches. Interesting. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. I think I'm gonna do it to come through. Because I always like to take these guys out. I mean, I could talk to them, but I'm playing an evil bad guy, remember? You come into my house? And because I'm playing an evil bad guy, I'm gonna take them out. Set me back. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. <laughs> Uh, let's let's cancel that. I only want to do one per person. I got one kung fu movie, and Batman did one roundhouse kick. Oh, there's another one. Pow! There's a roundhouse kick. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see him act. I wanted to see him do some martial arts. Cause I like the martial arts. I was going to, but I'm not because it's a little time consuming. But I was going to put the pow and the wow and the stuff like that, like you see in in comic strips. It's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. But I decided not to. I mean, I have the um, that pops up in the middle of the screen. Right on the top is kind of colorful that comes up every time I get a kill and it says who I killed and what I used to kill him with so I have that but I was going to add in extra graphics I had lots of plans that I wanted to do video editing wise I use DaVinci Resolve if anybody's curious what editor I use for my video editing I record with OBS Studio and I used DaVinci Resolve to edit. And I'm pretty fluent in DaVinci Resolve. I know my way around the software. And there's a ton of stuff that I could do, but a lot of it's just too time consuming. So if this was my full time gig and this is what I did, 
And yeah, I might devote more time to it, but teaching all day long from pretty much, I get to school at 7 in the morning, I get home at 5 o'clock, then I teach again at night from 6 to 10. I live a pretty active teaching lifestyle. I don't have time for all the extra fluff as much as I would love to do it. Let me see, Ellie. Your secretary, Ellie. She said she did, and she gave her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about tracking down a murderer, how he took your son. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there, Nick. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Okay, unlikely Valentine is complete. Now the question is, can I get back to Diamond City without having to fight my way there? Marketplace. Yes, okay, it's going to let me fast travel. Again, I'm doing the fast travel for your guys' benefit. If it was me, I would make the trip there because I just heard gunfire and some something big. And I would be curious to get into a conflict with whatever that was, but... That's neither here nor there. Uh, let me see. If I'm not mistaken, I need to speak with her again. Selling papers is busy work, mister. Hey, Nat. Hey, mister. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. I thank you, young lady. <clears throat> okay. Um. Now... Here's something else that I'm curious about. If I go to data, I have where, where can my baby be? Access Kellogg's apartment in Diamond City and search for clues. Now, is that gonna conflict with the vanilla going to his office and searching for clues? So I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious how these two crests are going to kind of merge together into one. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's going to laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Metal detective delivery at your service. Happy to be in a niche market, that's for sure. Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know... If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Your thing, Nick, but first I'm going to toss the place. Okay, the Earl Sterling... This is vanilla, but I still like to pick it up. Institute took him. It's the unofficial word about town. Okay. The Earl Sterling case. Apparently Earl just up and disappeared one day. No one's seen him since. Another case, the Marty Bullfinch case. The Marty Bullfinch case. Marty was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. I missed those caps. Wow. Now, there's also one more in here. I always forget this one right here, the Mysterious Stranger. I mentioned it in my last playthrough that there's three folders you can get in here. I always 
forget the mysterious stranger. Taste the mysterious stranger. I always forget to pick this one up. I don't know if it's an actual crest that you can do or what, but it is in here. Like I said, 15 years I've been playing this game and I always forget to pick it up and I would guarantee you there's other YouTubers out there who don't even know it's there. I would almost guarantee you. Why? They're in too bloody big hurry to get from point A to point B. <laughs> yes, I'm on a rant about that today. Uh, it's, I don't know. It just irritates me. I mean, I got some YouTubers that I really love. I really love watching them. And it just irritates me when I'm watching and I know something's coming up and they skip right past it. Because it's vanilla. Uh, so it has relevance. Vanilla or not. Yeah, it irritates me. Okay, let's have a seat. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Okay. Let's just quickly go through this. Murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? When I say quickly, I don't mean quickly as in skip it. I mean quickly as in I won't be doing any talking. Let's see, just let the dialogue play out. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son. Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care. And Maybe they know I'm Batman. That confirms it. Hmm. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. They want Batman's DNA. Well, to take people. Interesting. The Institute wants Batman's DNA. And of course, there's the Institute. That's why they killed my wife, because she was just an ordinary person. But Sean, my son, he's the blood of his father, and his father is Batman. Yeah, that plays good into my story. Very good into my story. They kidnapped my son because I'm... Batman! So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait, it couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No, they never said their names. Mm. It's way too big of a coincidence. 
Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Okay, very cool, very cool. Yeah, I'm putting two and two together. I now know why Sean was kidnapped, because he's my son, and I'm Batman. That's why he was kidnapped. Yes. Okay, come on, Nick. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance, bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. Do 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 do. Don't mind us. One heck of a lock. Do 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 do. My Kellogg. Why don't we're just you two guys just standing up here having a talk? You want me to try, Nick? I can't pick that thing. Don't think I can pick this. Can't do it, Nick. No luck. <laughs> no luck. I need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Alrighty, so we need to go to the mayor's office and see if we can get the key to unlock this. Now, I'm curious when we go inside, are we going to have the button that has the secret room like in vanilla? Or are we going to find the hollow tape for Access Kellogg's apartment in Diamond City and search for clues? Because remember, we find Kellogg's second diary for those who don't know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Spoiler alert. But yeah. So get in a clue and where, where can my baby be? Which story is the game going to make us go down? What path? And with that being said, this. It's Big Papa J. Hoping you have a good day or night, depending on what it is where you are. I'm out of here.